Algeria is emerging as a potential launch customer for the upgraded Yak-130M aircraft, the newest version of the Yakovlev Yak-130, likely featuring an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, and primarily designed for the export market. During the Army 2024 forum held in Kabinka, near Moscow last week, an Algerian delegation was observed closely inspecting the Yak-130M. This marks the second consecutive year that Algerian officials have shown keen interest in the Yak-130M at the event, indicating a growing consideration for its acquisition. Sources from United Aircraft Corporation UAC, the parent company of Yakovlev, which manufactures the Yak-130, neither confirmed nor denied Algeria's intentions when questioned at the Army 2024 event. Meanwhile, Russia's arms export agency, Rosober One Export, mentioned on its Telegram channel recently that the company sees a potential market for around 40 Yak-130M aircraft, particularly in Asia and Africa, and an additional 60 units for upgrading existing Yak-130 to the new M variant. The Yak-130M is currently being assembled at the Irkutska Aviation Factory, with Rostec planning to build three prototype aircraft for testing. According to Andre Beginsky, CEO of Yakovlev, some technical solutions are being tested on existing prototypes, including the one showcased at Army 2024. Irkutska Aviation Plant CEO Alexander Vipriv announced at the forum that the first Yak-130M prototype is expected to take flight in the first half of 2025. Algeria, which became the first export customer of the original Yak-130 in 2006 with an order of 16 aircraft, may once again be at the forefront of adopting this modernized version. Unveiled at the Army 2024 Forum, the Yak-130M is designed to serve both advanced training and combat roles. It boasts a digital cockpit, enhanced thrust-to-weight ratio, and improved maneuverability over its predecessor. The aircraft is also equipped for air-to-ground missions and includes onboard defense systems. The Yak-130M measures 11.49 meters by 4.64 meters by 9.85 meters, with a top speed of 950 km per hour, practical ceiling of 12,500 meters, and range of 1,610 km, extendable to 2,265 km with external tanks. It has a max takeoff weight of 10,290 kg, carrying up to 2,500 kg of combat load across nine points. Powered by two AI-222-25 turbofan engines, 2,500 kg force each, it boasts enhanced thrust and fuel efficiency. The aircraft now supports a broader range of armaments, including guided and unguided bombs, air-to-air, -air, ground missiles, and satellite laser-guided weapons, with four additional gun pods and various holders for up to 16 by 100 kg bombs. The modernization of the Yak-130M involves the integration of four key systems aimed at boosting its operational capabilities. Central to this upgrade is the BRLS-130R radar station, which UAC officials described at the forum as a latest system. While specifics were not disclosed, the radar is believed to be an AESA system, particularly given that the competing Leonardo M346 FA aircraft is expected to feature AESA technology. The shift from the original Yak-130 Fazatron OSA radar, a passive electronically scanned array, PESA, to an AESA system would represent a leap in targeting and tracking precision, greatly enhancing the aircraft's effectiveness in air-to-air -air engagements. In addition to the radar, the Yak-130M President S-130 onboard defense system includes a suite of electro-optical, laser, and infrared IR, sensors, along with electronic jamming capabilities, to enhance survivability against threats. The KSS-130 data link system enables sensor data sharing with other aircraft and ground stations, facilitating coordinated mission responses. Furthermore, the SOLT 130K electro-optical, thermal, and laser aiming pod improves air-to-ground targeting accuracy. A helmet-mounted display further augments the pilot's situational awareness and targeting capability. These advancements position the Yak-130M as a multi-role combat aircraft, capable of executing both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions. It also serves as a testbed for future modernizations, potentially paving the way for similar upgrades to other Russian aircraft such as the Su-30SM and Su-34.